What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon here, and today we're gonna get to the facts on hoppers and lag. So first off, guys, let's get started by discussing what lag actually is, because in the Minecraft community, there seems to be a bit of confusion here. So lag is actually a discrepancy between the server or host PC running the game and the player's reactions, meaning it's out of sync. So the player sees one thing or does one thing and the game is at a different state than the player sees. Simplest explanation is in FPSs where somebody is playing online they see another guy they go to shoot him in the head only to find out that they're actually dead even though they saw the bullet pierce the guy's head what actually happened was because of lag due to strain on the server or due to something like ping which is the delay time between the client player pc and the host server pc uh where he sees the player, the player actually isn't. They have already left that area. They were there milliseconds, seconds ago, whatever. So what's actually happening is he's shooting a ghost. Meanwhile, the player is actually somewhere else firing at him, which is why even though he sees the bullet hit the guy's head, he's the one that ends up dead. So that's lag in a nutshell. Now this tends to get associated with frame rate performance drops in Minecraft, which sometimes it is lag. Sometimes it's too much strain on a server or on your PC in single player. Sometimes it's just too much strain on Minecraft itself and the way it calculates things. Your computer could be running idle almost, yet the game takes a, a frame rate hit so now that we understand that we have to understand that what people associate with stuff like hopper lag redstone lag isn't always lag it's just the way the game processes things for simplicity we'll call it lag moving forward so there's a lot of misinformation out there people believe that hoppers are one of the biggest sources of lag in the game or frame rate hits in the game. As a matter of fact, the reason we're covering this is one of the most famous Minecraft servers in the world currently has members with opposing views where some think hopper lag is something you can be that can be reduced other than by using less hoppers. And others have tested it and shown otherwise. So in order to prove what the truth is here, we have to do a proper test. In order to do our test, we need to get a baseline. So we are in a void world and our test will be conducted in said void world from the same spot each time with weather frozen, daytime frozen, all the nines. So we're going to start by bringing up F3 and shift to get our pie menu up. From there, we're gonna hit four to bring up our root tick. Now, root tick is essentially the way the game handles time, okay? Redstone timing as well as overall timing for things like block updates. Now, in order to get our baseline, we're gonna stand here and we're gonna take our user HUD and we're going to aim it roughly at the bottom of the block that we're standing up against so that we have a similar viewpoint each time. Now, our baseline world, no hoppers or anything. We can currently see our root ticks a little above a percent and a half, which means the game's idle. Memories uh, around 15%, you know, dropping be uh, between 10 and 20. And our frame rate seems to be hovering at about 215-ish or so. So what we're gonna do is moving forward, I'm just gonna take snapshots so I can compile the data after. So let's take a snapshot there. Okay guys, here we are in our void world with all conditions set the same and our hopper test loaded. Now we can see just kind of looking around at the hoppers does in fact cause a frame rate hit. 
Now, if we take a look at the memory, it's kind of idling, right? It's not really, it's barely even scratching a quarter megabyte. But if we look at our root tick, which is the way the game calculates things like math, redstone, block updates, we can see it spike to around 5%. So do they in fact cause strain on the game as a whole? Yes, they do. Is it lagging my PC by taxing the PC? No. As a matter of fact, my recording software is probably taxing the PC more than all these hoppers. But to truly get a sense of how much this can affect us in game, say on a busy server, we need a large test like this, which is somewhat unrealistic. So we have the exact center spawn chunk loaded with hoppers, plus some on each end there with chests attached to load items into our hoppers because we need to test them both idle and transferring. These furnaces on the bottom are to top the hoppers with. It's just the way the command blocks do copies. So our grand total for hoppers in less than two chunks is 3,885. Now guys, even on the, the most technical of servers, this would be a high amount. I could see places like Psycraft maybe having more on their servers but all loaded at the same time, it's just not likely because technical players tend to find better ways of moving items than loading that many into a chunk. So again, we're gonna take our baseline here and we'll just give it a moment to stabilize so we can actually see what kind of an effect this has on our frame rate. Well, we can see we're probably around 190. We'll take our screenshot there. And so we can see that just having the hoppers, this insane amount of hoppers in the world does in fact affect our frame rate by about 30 FPS. And VSync and everything else is turned off. Settings are unlimited for frame rate. We can see again, our root tick is up around 5%, which means just having them in the world does increase strain on the game because it's checking those hoppers to look for entities transferring. We can see our memory overall isn't really affected. So it's not putting any strain on our RAM or CPU having them here more so than having a mountain wood. It's just the fact that the game has to check to see if they're moving entities. So a belief is that we can do stuff like cover them to help reduce the lag because now they won't check for items on top, right? That's, that's the belief, that's what you've heard, right? And some say blocks, some say hoppers, some say meh. So let's get down to the brass tacks here. Let's let our frame rate stabilize for a sec. Has it affected our FPS? Is it taking an edge off root tick? Is it taking an edge off FPS? Is it using less memory? No, as a matter of fact, the memory is trending up because the game now has more blocks it has to render. But root tick, the mathematical side of the calculations, is still around 5%. Frame rate overall is unchanged. So we'll take our snapshot here to demonstrate that. So there you go, guys. Covering it with blocks does nothing. Exact same performance hit. Overall, it's still not a big one, but there is one there. Now... Some people say, well, no, you have to put an item with an inventory, I just pushed the wrong button. Like furnaces in there, because then the game won't check the entire block surface above the hoppers constantly for entities to pull. It just has to check the inventory of the, the item with the, the inventory slot. Okay, so is this true? Does using furnaces or chests or anything of the sort actually help? Well, is our frame rate stabilizing? It's starting to. And look, it went down an additional 20 frames per second. Our allocated memory is still about as high as it was with solid blocks, 
closer to 20 than 15 percent but our root tick has gone up eight percent guys eight percent so is this reducing strain on the pc or server or whatever is it helping reduce lag no it's making it worse why is it making it worse well because guys those are tile entities they have an inventory the hopper doesn't just stop checking for blocks above it now it's just checking for blocks in an inventory slot above it in a one block space above it instead of just checking air above it so it makes it worse not better because now the game actually has to check all those furnaces to see if there is in fact inventory there plus it has to check to see if the hopper can pull the items in so it makes things worse add to the fact you're using a tile entity which is just harder for the game to render because of the way the game renders blocks so does this work no it's a fallacy guys and certain people proved this already yet for some strange reason professional minecrafters didn't believe him well there you go guys there are the facts it makes things worse not better now the test is not complete because we have done it with empty furnaces does it make a difference when we load the hoppers full of items so right now we're going to start transferring items in here and all these hoppers are set so they're going to cycle guys all these items are going to shoot down this way on every single layer and then they're going to go around and zigzag back and forth and just infinitely the the hoppers are going to get flooded with items and then we will conduct our final test so i'm going to give it a minute and i'll be back once the hoppers are full all right guys so the hoppers have had time you can see this one is flooded basically not moving items or not visually moving items and that one is flooded and you can see that one is slowly flooding so they're kind of at capacity here so now let's go get our baseline and see what kind of an effect all those hoppers moving items has on the game so we'll sit here we'll let our fps stabilize now we were around 175 before with the hoppers empty and the furnace is on top so is it worth or is it worse with the hoppers open and moving items well looks like memory is good frames seem to be stabilized they actually seem higher even though the hoppers are moving items so we'll take our snapshot here but i would like to point out that the root tick did in fact go up it was at about 5% with the hoppers empty, correct? And no items on top, just air blocks. And it went up to about 9%, just like so. So it does put strain on the game, mostly when hoppers are moving items, which is kind of the point of having them there. So, if we cover them in stone, is it going to help reduce our leg? let's see well we see the root tick hasn't moved very much memory's still kind of around that 20 percent mark so it's not like it's really taxing the cpu or the ram or we would indeed see that spike so does it really cause lag on servers or is it just that the game slows down doing all the calculations and the server hardware itself is running fine we actually see that putting a lid on them while they're moving items i.e a solid block has kind of increased frames per second just a little bit we're pushing closer to 185 now instead of 175 so we'll take our screenshot there and we'll be good to go notice though it does not seem to affect root tick or memory overall the game still has the strain calculating moving the items now what if we I keep pushing the wrong button I also forgot to take a snapshot so I wrote down the numbers while I was uh, do, uh, waiting for the hoppers to load so now that we've got the furnaces there let's see what happens once our frame rate stabilizes again the root tick still kind of around nine percent so it doesn't seem to be affecting that or the memory too too much 
because the hoppers are essentially full. It's already doing the max calculations that it could be. But now that we see our frame rate stabilize, isn't this interesting, guys? Do you notice? It's about the same as it was with the hoppers moving items and air blocks above it. So we'll take our screenshot to prove that. So the results are in. So we had a baseline with no hoppers in the world of 220 FPS, 15% memory, and an idle tick rate of around 1.5%. So basically an empty world. Now, adding almost 4,000 empty hoppers, reduced that by about 15% and increased our tick by about 3% with the air blocks, just the hoppers added and the other necessaries for the test. So an extreme amount of hoppers will reduce lag, but I think considering we're looking at this extreme amount of hoppers loaded in one chunk, we can verify that the hopper itself's impact overall is minimal unless you go absolutely crazy with them. In typical Minecraft use, it's not going to cause that much of an issue. On large servers with 30 people doing something stupid like this, absolutely it'll make it ridiculous. Otherwise, not so much. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We notice when we cover them with stone, it has virtually no effect. We get a mild increase in tick just because the game has more blocks to render. But then we notice when we add the furnaces that people claim reduce lag, it puts a higher strain on the game. Memory usage goes up to 20%, tick goes up to 7%, and the frames drop an additional 20 FPS down to 175. Guys, that's because a hopper is an entity with an inventory, it's a tile entity, and so are those furnaces. So the game now has twice as many objects to check inventory and push-pull mechanics on. Twice as many math ca calculations. So it's worse than when you just leave an air block above. Either way, the hopper has to check for items, guys. Changing whether it's checking inventory or in airspace has no effect other than the fact that you're rendering more time tile entities So it makes more strain on the game as a whole so in short guys the answer is Don't cover your freaking hoppers with furnaces. Okay, there's the facts right there now Let's look at when moving items Oh, me, oh my, it seems the hoppers actually moving items is what causes the most strain. Look at that. Tick almost doubled, 8.5%. Memory spiked to 20%. We took a 15% FPS hit. The stone made no difference whatsoever. Same averages. The furnaces, well, incidentally, again, an FPS hit and the tick went even higher. So whether the hoppers are empty or full, those furnaces just cause strain on the game, guys. It's not a lag saver, it's a lag creator. So in short to summarize, guys, be smart with your hopper usage. Use water streams when you can. Don't fill massive areas with hoppers to collect items from your mobs. Use water, man. Use other ways of transferring items, minecarts, etc. It's easier on your game. And second of all, if you're going to cover the hoppers, cover them with solid blocks so that when you, you know, break a block above it, it doesn't get in your hopper and mess up your, your shizne. Other than that, though, guys, if you just want to leave them open, just leave them open. But don't add things like furnaces and chests with inventory on top of them when you don't need them there. It just makes things worse, not better. My name's Half Slab Bacon, and those are the Minecraft facts. Smash that like if you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit subscribe for more peeps.
Thanks for watching. Bye.